Yes. We have arrived at Delphi. I will await your return. Remain alert. Oracles are not to be trusted. Apollo himself knows. I will put my trust in him. Even still, pay close attention to her words. Hidden truths will lurk behind every phrase. Still don't know how we made it through that mist. And don't know if it want to try again. Out. Few ever see these shores. Remember, Jason, what an oracle says and what an oracle means are not always the same thing. Delphi, sacred isle of Apollo. The light of truth pierces the mist that clouds the minds of men. Talking Seder. Seder, I am Jason, King of Yolkus. This is Hercules, the son of Zeus. Is that right? We've come to see the Oracle. Well, that way leads to the Oracle. Eventually. We thank you, Hercules. I wish you good fortune in the caves ahead. Why? Is there some reason we would need it? Hold on, I'll take a look. Hercules, wait! What exactly do you mean? Hail, King Jason! Lieutenant Platon? What are you doing on Delphi? That's a question I put to you, sir. I speak for the people, your people, who wonder why you've left us. Why you've abandoned your kingdom and your duty. What if there's another attack, and Yolkus is without its warden? How could you do this? That is not for you to say, Platon. Do not forget, Alcime was a citizen of Yolkus too. The gods willing, I will not be long away. Platon? What is this place? I see Jason, begat a trio, who for the year has walked with the gods. Jason, there you are. Lost you back there for a moment. Why did you run off? This place is strange. I'm seeing things. Yes. I saw a guard from Yolkus. I saw worse than that. Death. Destruction. 
I've seen that this voyage will be the last for some of those who join you. I'm with you until the end, Jason. But others who may stand with us, I worry too much will be asked of them. Are you willing to trade a life for Alcimaze? A friend's life? The choices I make, I will live by. Will I trade a life to undo what's been done? Yes. I trade my own. Hercules? Hercules! I will find a way to bring you back. I'm alone in the dark, lost and adrift. Why have you denied me my final rights? Why have you left me to wander in the abyss? I am so afraid. You are not Alcime. You're another trick of the cave. Alcime is strong, full of courage. She has the fiery blood of Ares in her veins. Be gone, treacherous spirit. You may have stolen her image, but your words betray you. I see Jason. Father of... No, not of... The Cave of Doubts. The most difficult questions to answer are those left unasked. You cannot confront ignorance unless you first confront the truth. You made it! Hercules, is it really you? After I ran in, I started seeing things. That's about when I realized rushing ahead wasn't the brightest idea. I turned back to find you. There was only the cave and its tricks. Tricks won't stop us now. Come. You've overcome the Cave of Doubts. Well done. You again. Many who come here seeking answers don't have the resolve to ask the questions. Who are you, Seder? You may call me Pan. I am a friend of the Oracle. She is waiting for you ahead, just a little further. I didn't know Satyrs could speak our language. It isn't easy, I assure you. We have different instruments, you see. Pipes and lyres. Both can make music, but each in their own way. I've had lots of time to practice. I do my best. You speak better than most people I've met. You are very kind to say so. But now, you should continue. The Oracle is expecting you. I'm the Oracle. How did you know what we were going to? Foolish question. Oracle of Apollo. I am... Jason. In fact, you are many Jasons. Each instant countless Jasons die, and countless are born anew. Does this Jason know what he seeks? My wife, Alcime. Restored to me alive again. Restored to you? 
You think your thread entwined with hers forever? Threads unravel. Threads entangle. Threads are cut. You have not said what I seek is impossible. And by that, I infer there is a way. How? The Golden Fleece. The Fleece? An artifact of untold power. Only the Fleece can undo death. But the Fleece has been lost for centuries. Do you know where it is? How can I find it? Search under every stone upon the earth. You will not find it. Then how? You will need a guide. Three guides. Each a vessel of divine blood. Do you mean to say these guides are the descendants of the gods? The blood of three holds the key. Athena, Hermes, Ares. Seek out their bloodlines. Bring one descendant from each of these gods here to Delphi. Then, the way to the Fleece will be made known to you. But will that be an answer? Or just another question? Wait! Who are these descendants? Where do I find them? Come now, aren't you being a little hard on them? Even if they knew where to look, the task ahead is nigh impossible. She's coming around to it. Give her a moment. How can you tell? Three islands you must visit. Mycenae, proud land of Ares, where a city hungers to see vengeance in its fierce arena. Saria, wild domain of Hermes, where both predators and mysteries lurk deep within the jungle. Kithra, lost island of Athena, where the echoes of a distant past haunt both swamp and temple. Mycenae, Saria, Kithra. There, your destiny will be forged. Can you tell me more of these places? Revealing too much may alter the course of events. So may revealing too little. Choose one of your destinations, and we will grant you one last gift of insight. When I have found the fleece, I will return to Yolkis. What do you see then? Darkness. Despair. Uncertainty. But there is hope. A boy hiding at the edges of a village. Allies fighting by your side. When the raven strikes, it will do so from behind. I suppose this means you will be leaving us, Pan. I believe Jason's quest will be an epic tale filled with great deeds and worthy heroes. Perhaps I too may have a part to play. You're coming with us? If you'll have me. Pan will speak for us on your journey. He will prove useful to you. I do not doubt that. Welcome aboard the Argo, Pan. The Argo! Jason and the Argonauts! There's a fine title for a tale! It's time we leave. To the ship!
the Oracle of Apollo, a beacon of vigilance to light the way. Be you a mirror to reflect that light, and you will be blessed in the eyes of the Sun Lord. Mycenae. It is a land of Ares and the homeland of my wife. King Lycomedes is the one I seek there. He is of Ares' blood. Lycomedes is not the understanding type. What of Saria and Kithra? Do you know them, man? I hear it's a cursed island. Well, it wasn't always so. In fact, it was once home to the Golden Fleece. But now, it said no living thing calls Kithra home. We'll find out for ourselves the truth of all these places. Come. The Argo awaits. At last, we have a purpose. I have been thinking on what you told me of the Oracle's message. Any insights? No. I still cannot fathom why the blood of the gods is needed. The Oracle didn't tell you everything she knows. I'm sure of it. She said enough to start us on our journey. Yes. A journey without a clear destination. I will meditate more on this.
route to Mycenae is well known to me. It is a major port, after all. Saria is just a small dot on the map, isolated and out of the way. Kithra appears only on the oldest charts. No one sails there anymore. They say it's haunted. Have you decided on our destination, Jason? I haven't decided. heard many tales of your great deeds, Hercules. Perhaps I could hear them again, directly from the man who did them. I'm no poet, Pan. I'm sure what you've heard already is better said than anything I can muster. Ah, my friend, not so. A man can always tell his own story better than anyone can tell it for him. A poet's imagination is a pleasant substitute for what he doesn't know. But when you tell your own tale, you know everything. Hmm. Hadn't thought of it that way. I would rather a mute communicate his experience than hear a practiced bard guess on his behalf. All right, then. We'll swap tales over dinner. I'm sure you have a few of your own. It is a strange path we find ourselves on. Strange even for you, slayer of the Lernaean Hydra and the Lion of Mimea? Yes, even still. Captor of the Cernaean Hind and the Aramanthian Boar? Very funny. Master thief of the mares of Diomedes and the apples of the Hesperides. Are you finished? How many is that? Six? I'm only halfway through your labors. Just you wait. My labors are gonna look like scullery chores by the time we're through. Ah, life at sea. I was just beginning to miss it. You came at a good time, Jason. It is customary for the captain to know the passengers on his ship. Tell me something of yourself. We have a long voyage ahead of us, but even still, I doubt there'd be enough time to tell you everything. Let's just say I was born long ago and far away, and since then, I've traveled farther still. They say satyrs choose how long they live. Do you still count your years? Oh, I lost count long ago. I count by centuries now. I've at least one of those for each of my fingers. How is that possible? The world is a better place with mysteries in it, I think. Suffice to say, I still feel young at heart, particularly when surrounded by good company. I've been feeling quite spry since coming aboard, I must say. How do you know the Oracle? Oh, I've been friends with many Oracles. The current one is quite new and yet quite promising. Most men find her speech unsettling, but I find it an invigorating web of meanings. We keep each other company now and then, that's all. Delphi is a great place to meet interesting people. The Oracle has such fascinating visitors. Make yourself comfortable, then. Have you decided on our destination, Jason? Set sail for Kithra. We'll find the bloodline of Athena first. As you say. There are secrets buried on Kithra who would rather not have. Send some men. Have them seek a way inside the temple. If it's still seen, then let them lie and wait for Jason when he arrives.
What is it? We've arrived at Kithra. We'll soon go ashore to find a descendant of Athena. I sense a taint on this island. A corruption. Hecate? Black tongues? I'm not sure. It's not like any other presence I've felt involving the Dark Titaness. It's old and quiet. Almost as if dormant. Hostile? I can't say. It's as if it teeters on the edge, waiting to be tipped to one side or the other. Most ships refuse to sail here. Kithra has a reputation for being cursed. Those ruined ships at the docks don't do much to dispel that rumor. You play well, Pam. Thank you. Kith, they say it's a dead eye. Haunt the tale. So you believe in ghosts? After all we've seen, nothing would surprise me. I've been to Kithra once or twice over the centuries, Jason. But not since the great storm afflicted the island. After that, no one heard from Kithra again. And nevertheless, perhaps I would prove useful in navigating the ruins that remain. Yes. You'll come ashore with me. Looks like these docks have been abandoned for a long time. This place was once full of life. Fishermen at work, ships arriving to bring travelers from all over Greece. Further inland is Kithra village and the temple of Athena itself. Surely there are not still people there. Look around. It's one of the great mysteries. One day, during a fantastic thunderstorm, everything just stopped. News from Kithra simply ceased to exist. Travelers arrived to find the island deserted and the temple sealed. Some claim they found a city of statues, as if the people had left behind monuments to themselves. Somewhere on this island is the person we seek. If only we came before the vanishing, you could have chosen between two members of Athena's bloodline. Twins. Twins? The High Priestess Medusa and her brother Perseus, the Temple Guardian. Both young and beautiful and full of promise, the pride of Kithra. But they vanished along with the rest. The one we seek would have to be many generations removed from those siblings. And what of the Fleece? Kithra was once home to the Golden Fleece. Some think the Fleece could still be here. As far as I know, no one's been inside the temple since that great storm so many years ago. The sooner we start looking, the sooner we'll finish. Come, 